our children. Welcome once again for yet another interesting lesson of ours. I'm your teacher, Nabal Richard, taking you through the P6 science. I hope you have been very fine, you've been safe, and taking care of yourself. You know, you're still in COVID time, and your disease is still existing. So you need to take precaution about it. So, once again, children, we are here to look at something interesting. We are going to look at drugs in society. And the, today we shall look at what we call essential drugs. Remember last time we were looking at smoking, but today we are looking at what we call drugs in our society. So under this we shall look at what we call essential drugs. And yeah, you can see your wanderings. My man here is full of drugs. That's what we are looking at. And by the end of this lesson, we shall definitely be knowing the meaning of a drug. We shall be able to define an essential drug. You must be able to mention at least three characteristics of an essential drug and give two qualities of an essential drug. And last but not least, to mention for me four examples, at least four examples of essential drugs. So settle down and we kick off. Then we are ready with your book and your pens and so on. So in our first session, children, we need to find out what is a drug exactly. I know you've been taking drugs when you've been sick and all that kind of stuff. So what do you think a drug is? I'm giving you just one minute. It's not sound something like what you think a drug is. All right, let's check. Can you compare with my answer here? So we are going to define a drug as any substance that affects the way one's body and mind works. Any substance that affects the way one's mind and body works if it's taken. It can either increase the function of your body or it can decrease the function of your body. Your body. So you imagine that drug you took when you are sick. How did it affect you when you've taken it? It could have lower affected you by either increasing the functioning of your body or it could actually affect you by lowering the function of your body. So what we're seeing here, we have different types of drugs I know. Some of them are, they appear in different shapes. Some of them are syringe required, are saturated, and so many others. Of course, you are wondering, ah, can the drug be like these plants we are seeing? Yeah. Those, could also, those are also part of drugs. You could be wondering, why am I seeing the second diagram there? I'm seeing leaves and all that kind of things. Are those drugs? Yes. Some of them are going to be medicinal. When you take them, they affect your way, your mind, how it works, and so on. So children, hope you have known what a drug is. So now our next, we shall look at these drugs that are going to be classified into two. They are either going to be essential drugs or they are going to be drugs of dependency. Sometimes we can be calling them narcotic drugs. So there are two groups of drugs we are looking at here. They are either essential drugs or drugs of what? Dependency. So let's, let's hope we are together, children. So what we're seeing here, we have seen that the drugs can either be essential drugs or drugs of dependency. And later on, our next lesson shall come across that these essential drugs are grouped into two later on. They are either going to be laboratory drugs or traditional what? Drugs. Now you have known why you saw those plant things there. So they are, we are going to see some drugs that are going to be traditional and so on. So in our next session, children, we want to find out what is an essential drug. The word essential, what does it mean? What comes in your mind when you hear the word essential? So what's an essential drug? Let me give you a few minutes. Think about it. Note down something about that word. Let me hope you are scribbling. I can see you are scribbling something. Good. Uh huh. You must be having a few points there. Can we compare with mine here? So, we're defining an essential drug as a drug which satisfies man's health need. A drug that satisfies man's health need. Oh, you can even simply say a drug that meets people's health needs. You know what health means? So when you take this drug, it's going to satisfy your health needs. The health could be of sickness. You could be having a pain somewhere. You could be having an allergy. So if you take that drug, it's going to satisfy, it's going to meet that health need of yours. So that's what we mean by an essential drug. So think of any drug. I know you have got so many in your head. Say, Panado, yay. Panado is an essential drug because it meets people's health needs. Aspirin is an essential drug because it meets people's health needs. So let me hope you are together, children. So in our next session, children, these essential drugs have got characteristics and qualities. 
they have got characteristics and qualities. Can you think of any characteristics of an essential drug? Think of that Panadol you took when you had a, a pain somewhere. Think of that Quartam you took when you had an infection. So which characteristics does it have? Can you write for me only two or three? I've given you three, yeah, write for me three. These characters of essential drug. Jot them down. One minute is enough for you. Uh-huh. Can see that one's writing. That's good. I can see that one also writing. Fine. Let's relate with mine as children. Uh-huh. We are reading together. We're saying they can cure a disease. That's one of the medical steps of essential drug. When you suffer from a certain disease and you take a particular drug, it can cure that particular disease. So that's character number one. Two, they can reduce signs and symptoms of a disease. So if you take this drug and you have a, a problem somewhere, it can do signs and symptoms. Then three, essential drug can prevent diseases. I know all of us have ever been prevented when you take a particular drug, a particular drug. They can also boost immunity. Immunity can be, you know what immunity means? The body is able to fight these germs. So this drug, when you take it, it can boost your immunity. Then next, we can say here, they reduce pain. Have you ever heard of something like a headache? Have you ever taken a drug to elevate that, that headache? So essential drug can reduce pain. They can also stop allergy. Some of you are allergic to certain things. So if you take a particular drug, that allergy can go. So this essential drug have got those characteristics. We can as well go through them together. One, we are saying they cure a disease. Two, they reduce signs and symptoms of a disease. Three, they prevent diseases. Four, they boost immunity. Five, they reduce pain. Six, they stop allergy. So these are our characters of essential drugs. So master them and keep them on your fingertip. At least you must be having three of them. So let's talk to you together, children. So the next, our next session here, we shall look at what we call qualities of an essential drug. Essential drugs have got their own qualities. So I know you could be wondering, what are these qualities? Can you think of that quality of an essential drug? Any quality of an essential drug you know? Not from only one. We compare with mine here. Uh-huh. One, we are saying they should be affordable. Mean that all people, whether you're rich or poor, you must be able to afford that drug if you have a problem. Two, it should be accessible. It's, it's, you must be able to access that drug in case you need it. Known to move distances because you're looking for a particular drug. So an essential drug it must be accessible. It must be in people's reach. If I'm suffering from probably malaria, I must be able to access that drug that treats malaria. If I've got a, a headache somewhere, I must be able to access that drug that reduces that headache. So easily without moving this is and whatnot. So that's why you are saying it should be accessible. Three, it should be safe if properly used. It should be safe if properly used. And then last but not least, it should be effective if properly used. If you had an infection like malaria, if you take that drug that treats malaria, it must be effective and elevate that malaria out of your body. If you have a pain in your body and you take that painkiller, it must be able to reduce that pain completely. So that's why I say essential drugs be effective. So don't confuse this one with those characters we have just seen. So we are saying for the qualities, it should be affordable, it should be accessible, it should be safe, and should be effective. So these are what we call the qualities of an essential drug. So let me hope, children, we are still together and moving on quite well. That's wonderful. Now, in our next session, children, we want to look at examples of essential drug. I know you have got some in your minds. I'm going to give you only one minute. Write for me only five of those drugs you have ever taken. Five only. Don't mind about the spelling. I know some of them have got complex spellings. So write what you think. Then you shall be able to read. Aha, uh -huh, you are now fourth, fifth. That's good. Can you compare with mine? So we've got here, we are reading together, Panado. That's the commonest essential drug. Sometimes we call it paracetamol. There's coatam. That one actually treats malaria. There's periton. There's varium. There's blackjack. Hey, you wonder, blackjack? Yeah, blackjack is also a drug. Sometimes when you have got wounds, if you don't have money for those other drugs which you have to buy, you can go for blackjack. We shall look at them later on. Is BCG vaccine, yeah. Vaccines also drugs, remember? We have measles vaccine. We have polio vaccine, DPT and many others. All those are drugs, essential drugs. 
there's asplane, there's alovela. Alovela is what we call chigaji in our local language. I know some say, ah, it's quite bitter. Yeah, have you ever tried to take that one there? It can fit so many things. If you have got malaria, you can take chigaji. If you have gotten what, you can take that one. There's albendazo, there's septrin. I know some of them are known here. There are very many which are known here. Very, very many. But these are some of the few drugs which are essential. So let me hope, children, you have picked everything. You have already known what a drug is. You have already known what an essential drug is. You have already mastered those characteristics. You have already mastered those qualities. And you have already given, at least you must be able to give me only five examples of essential drugs. I know your answer could not be among this, this one here. But what I know, there are very many, many, many essential drugs. Some of them have got different names and so on. So I hope you have been good children following this lesson. And I'll be leaving an activity as usual. But this activity, we shall be putting it somewhere. So you definitely know what a drug is. You are going to define from what a drug is. You shall define from an essential drug. And you have number three, apart from curing a disease, you are going to give me any other characters of essential drug. And then number four, to mention for me two examples of essential drugs. And last but not least, this one to check your understanding. Our drugs introduced in your body. So let me hope you have been very good children following the lesson. Take care of yourself, stay safe. Remember that COVID still exists. Always do the right full thing. A mask is a necessity if you are to move in public. Remember to sanitize always. Remember this place is quite infected with so many things. Sanitize yourself and so on. We want you to safe and remain safe. Thank you for being good children and take care of yourself.